I want to talk about identity exploration and how you can use that to become whoever you want. Now, the operative word here is want. This isn't about changing yourself to suit someone else's expectations. This is about personal growth. In my previous video on how I beat depression, card at the top of the screen right there, I talked about how I had this restrictive self-image that was preventing me from moving forward in life. I saw myself as a particular kind of guy and there are certain things I wouldn't let myself do because I'm not the kind of guy who does those things. But once I allowed myself to move on from that mindset, my life drastically improved. So I decided in my mid-teens that I wanted to be a musician. I was hyped up, man. I was certain, like, this is what I'm going to do. I went through all the career programs at school and I actually broke their programs because I was so certain of what I wanted to do that nothing else was, was acceptable. I studied music straight out of high school. Then I started teaching. Then I started a gaming channel. And somewhere along the way, my desire to be a career musician shifted into obligation. Quite honestly, I probably would have given up the dream of being a musician years ago if I didn't have this locked in self image of myself as a musician. I'm a musician, I have to work on music. So <laughs> whether I like it or not, I've got to like write an album or try and find a band or whatever. And honestly, it, it, it did become an obligation. It was a chore. I wasn't enjoying it. Now, more recently, I've decided to let that image of myself go. And you know, it was difficult because it felt like I was betraying my destiny somehow. And maybe wrapped in amongst that was the sunk cost fallacy. Because I'd, I'd spent so much time and effort, really mental effort more than anything, trying to be a musician. And look, I'll be perfectly honest with myself and you guys, I could have tried harder. I should have tried harder. If I tried harder, I probably would have been in a much different place right now. But you know, that was a lesson I had to learn. Never half-ass two things, whole ass one thing. So I let go of the idea of Rick the musician and realized that music was a stepping stone to other pursuits that I'm very passionate about. If I never got into music, I never would have started teaching. Not in a million years, man. If I didn't get into music, I wouldn't have had a need to buy an audio interface and a microphone, and I wouldn't have had the ability to start making YouTube videos, because that's where it started, man. I was watching gaming videos, and I'm like, yo, I can do that. I've already got the recording equipment. I'll give it a try. I'm telling you right now, the mindset that I had when I was that young, if I didn't already have the equipment, I, I wouldn't have even tried. So if it wasn't for music, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. Now here's the important part. And I touched on this in my How I Beat Depression video as well. Once I let go of the idea of myself as a musician, I didn't stop making music. Yo, listen, I got a new EP out. It's called Villain. It's on Spotify and everywhere else you would expect to find music. Go check it out. I didn't stop loving music. In fact, I love it even more now. I appreciate listening to music so much more. I feel more energized and less critical when I'm making music. And I'm grateful every day for the fact that I get to teach young people about music. I get to share my passion with them and, and help foster their own love of music. It's fucking incredible, man. Here's the thing. When you let go of these restrictive self images that stop you from moving forward, you'll find that you don't really become that different to who you were before. You just become a better version of who you were before. For a little insight into how I was feeling a couple years ago, I felt like people walked all over me. I didn't want to be rude to people. I've never thought of myself as a, a rude person. And so I, I l let people walk all over me. <laughs> I got fed up with it. And I kind of said to myself, well, fuck it. If people are going to treat me like shit, then I don't care anymore and I'm going to be an asshole. But look, man, I didn't become an asshole. I didn't start being rude to people because that's not who I am. It's not in my nature. I'm not going to treat people in a way that I don't want to be treated. It's, it's not what I'm about. But letting go of this idea of myself as 
like a nice guy who's polite and you know has has to be has to be liked you know it has to be seen as oh he's such a good guy he's a you know non-confrontational he's safe whatever letting go of that image and, and saying fuck it i don't care if there are people out there who don't like me hugely freeing <laughs> so i want you to ask yourself who do you want to be one year ago i didn't see myself as a morning person now i get up early every morning almost without fail one year ago i didn't see myself as someone who worked out now i go for a jog almost every morning i would really love for you to sit down with your thoughts really analyze what image do you have of yourself that is preventing you from doing the things that you want preventing you from growing as a person and then just stop using that language stop saying oh i don't exercise i'm not that kind of person i hate exercise it's not for me stop saying i'm not the kind of person to share my honest opinions with people stop saying i don't ask out that person I'm interested in. I just, I don't, I don't date. I don't do that. Because the only thing that makes you that way is your own limiting beliefs.